this is our first time partnering with, uh, with, with Foreign Affairs. And how, how did this come about? Why is it important for you to be partnered with us? Well, we love Intelligence Squared, and we couldn't think of a better partnership because essentially the best way to think of foreign affairs is as the home version of Intelligence Squared. It's something you can play uh, by yourself or with friends and family. It's easy. You basically take a policy question that you care about, write down your answer, read your copy of Foreign Affairs, and then check your answer and vote again. Uh, that's how you play at home. Uh, because what we offer in F.A. is essentially very smart, serious people honestly trying to provide constructive answers to important and interesting practical questions and have the kind of debate that should be had in a democracy over important public issues. Does that and suggest that's what you do as well. Well, does that suggest that one wants to read foreign affairs with a willingness to change one's mind? Uh, you know, all of our authors are smarter than uh, the editorial staff, and they take very different positions on all the major issues, and so it's a constant education for us, and we hope it is for our readers as well. Our job is to translate the smart people in our pages to translate their words and ideas into ones that everybody can understand. Just a, minute, a, a moment on tonight's resolution. Uh, we're looking back 10 years. Normally, we look at the present. We are actually looking at the future, but we're using the 10-year-old benchmark uh, as, our, as, our measure, as our metric in a sense. But why does that topic interest you in particular? Well, uh, because these days, obviously, not just our domestic and international events related, but security and economic spheres are related, and a global financial crisis and the turbulence that we saw a decade ago has been an extraordinarily uh, significant factor in weakening the liberal international order, affecting world politics in various ways, hurting lots of people, and the question of whether we have responded successfully, whether we have made the system better, is something we've been covering in the pages of foreign affairs, and we're delighted to sort of be partners with you guys in a debate by really serious people trying to assess whether the measures that have been taken have been enough or not. 